Good morning, folks. A large sunspot is coming into view, but it's everywhere else delivering our stories today. We've got weather, space, and science news coming, so let's run through the sun first at spaceweathernews.com. And around the outside of the star, you should be able to see that the coronal particles produce a non-homogeneous size and character around the disk due to the umbral magnetic fields of that sunspot bulging upwards on the incoming limb. Those umbral magnetic fields are the largest and strongest we've seen in about a year, but thus far have not produced any solar flares, and the best guess as to why that is can be found at the sunspot itself. Massive? Yes, but all by himself, and you really need at least two spots so their fields can interact. Doppler gram shows the depth of the umbral core. Let's go to the solar wind, and over on the right side, the orange panel on top bumps up, and below that, the plasma speed and temperature, purple and green, began rising just afterwards as well. It is almost certainly a coronal whole stream impact and has already begun to produce intermittent geomagnetic instabilities. Nothing major is expected. Up next, we're going to hail. This was major. So lucky that everyone made it undercover because hailstones big enough to do this can crack a skull, break your nose or clavicle, and can obviously take a major toll on cars and houses. We're going next to Russia. Another fireball meteor came crashing through the atmosphere. This one not nearly as glorious as the 2013 fireball, but still an incredible sight. Up next. In just two days, the world of astronomy is going to change. Call it a black hole, plasmoid, active galactic nucleus, whatever it is, we're going to get a picture of one on Wednesday. We are expecting to see the outline of the sphere and its dusty plasma torus. We've got fighting words between scientists. This paper came out a month ago and insists that the cold neutral medium of deep space is determinative over many of the observations we see at small scale in things like filaments and molecular clouds, and we happen to agree. But now the scientists whom that paper shaded are coming back to defend their work. Both papers in the new science fight link below. You might recall that modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, had a pretty rough 2018 thanks to Planck, ESA, and Hubble in a triple star system. This one, not much better. That theory is fading fast. So many of you have probably heard about the rough news for Duke. They indeed falsified data and provided unsubstantiated conclusions in order to get grant money. In addition to a small sense of justice you might be feeling and might be wanting spread around a good deal more, I am wondering if the climate science researchers are paying attention to this. More on that in just a moment. Because I want to share an incredible piece on flux tubes. These electromagnetic tunnels funnel and force electromagnetically charged particles through space. They're Birkeland currents. And now we have some incredible modeling of both open and closed systems. The helicity, the vortex spiral appearance is not at all surprising to many of the systems. And the more they understand these filaments of current and charge, the closer they will come to understanding cosmology, particle physics, and climate change. Folks, the observers advocate for stronger restrictions on pollution, higher fines and penalties for violators, and retroactive cleanup provisions for those who think they dumped and got away. We must stop pollution for reasons of biosphere toxicity, but in terms of climate change, it is complete garbage science. Please take my anti-pollution stance and let me take a shot at showing you exactly why it's garbage. And if you share the video, be sure to share that anti-pollution aspect too. Video is linked right below this one for you. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.